Look where I am. That's a six stand bus. Where's it from? Uh, DJI. Huh? DJI. DJI. What's it called? Uh, DJI Osmo. Osmo Mobile. Jeez, that looks so sick. What does it? What remote? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a gimbal. Serious. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, that's sick, boss. Cheers. People's festival. Thank you, bro. Come down. I'll Come check on. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Right. Thank you. Yeah, typical London. <laughs> Hi everyone, hello for episode number two. Enjoying what's certain to be one of the last nice sunny winter days of London. Um, we're about to enter that period where it's just constantly grey. Even if it's not raining, it's just grey and very overcast. Whereas today, I mean, oh my God, wow, amazing. So uh, it's been just over 24 hours since I put my first vlog up. Um, I have to say I'm actually quite touched. In terms of how many times it's been viewed, it's, you know, tiny microscopic numbers. But what I'm really happy about is the response I've been getting from everyone so far. I've got some somewhere in the region about 20 messages in the last 24 hours just saying that they really liked the style, they liked my honesty and the positive message that I was giving out. I was actually quite nervous about talking about myself essentially i appreciated that over time other people who don't necessarily know me might start you know watching my vlogs i wanted to give a little bit of info i am and what i'm about to put things into context and also it's actually i mean one of the main reasons actually i'm doing this vlog is also for my own benefit check this check this thing out <laughs> if you've never been to london or even live in london and you haven't been on one of these i recommend that you go on them it's a fantastic way to see the city <laughs> got stops everywhere all the you know main attractions tourist attractions along the river so definitely get on one of those clip for service going back to what i was saying so this is almost like a diary it will be interesting to see year down the line to look back at this period how much progress i've made or the lack of progress that i've made <laughs> One of the things I love about Greenwich is the market. These guys are here every day of the week. Um, to serve all the locals and all the tourists that come through here, I guess it's quite popular. Like, from food to typical market stuff. It's quite good fun though. Now this is right up my street. There's my new friend Joe helping another customer. Um, a few people have inquired with me about buying some of my photography and um, I've been asking him about prices and stuff. Gorgeous hall. 
what I want to make clear is that I'm not stuck in the past. So for me, the most important thing is to keep moving forwards and overcome the challenges um, that are stopping me from realizing my potential, the dreams and the goals that I have for myself. There's a Royal, there's a Royal Observatory just there. That's why I go this way. And there's a Royal Naval College. I love the history and the culture of this place. It's so inspiring to me. One of my other main passions is actually helping people and sometimes just sharing your own experiences and the, and the challenges and the difficulties that you've been through uh, helps people deal with theirs. You know, there's nothing wrong with struggling. That's why um, collaboration is so important. When you use that word collaboration, people normally associate that word with movies or music making, whereas in reality, collaboration is actually part of life. Um, every day, or every single one of us collaborates in many ways that we don't maybe necessarily appreciate. That's why I really enjoy meeting new people, people of different backgrounds, different uh, experiences, different um, ages, uh, genders. But sometimes, you know, with life and the things that you go through, you lose sight of some of these things. If I can do something to help a certain situation or a certain person or a certain group of people, it enables you to put your problems into perspective and um, it's quite humbling and you see that actually there are people far worse off than you. It's why for several years now I've been volunteering at Christmas um, with Crisis, which is a homeless charity. Um, and they open um, shelters for rough sleepers uh, during Christmas week from the 23rd to the 31st. So pretty much every night, including Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. I go along and sort of work night shifts. You meet the most wonderful people you hear. You hear the most heartbreaking stories. It's not just about doing something good or nice. There are a lot of people out there who are people like just you and me, um, who are very capable, who are very intelligent, who at some time um, actually had quite a good life. Um, you meet ex-soldiers who've come back from, you know, fighting in the Gulf Wars, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. You meet um, so many youngsters who've run away from abuse at home. So there's all sorts of reasons why people end up on the streets and usually they end up with mental health issues and it just makes the problem worse. Um, so for a week and for a limited number of people that they can take, um, they provide these amazing services. You get dentists who come along and, and volunteer um, and help fix their teeth. You get opticians come along and give them eye tests and then give them free glasses. Seams mistresses who fix clothes and then we get, you know, the people who donate clothes. So we actually replace, um, you know, what they have. It's something that I've really enjoyed and I've looked at other opportunities for me to kind of get involved with other stuff. I mean, I wish I had superpowers and I can fly around the world and save lives, um, but I don't. Billionaire orphan, um, dressed up in a bat suit, um, but I'm not. But what I realize as I get older is that you don't have to be. In fact, if you're a little bit observant and if you kind of look around you, there are a lot of people who are a lot worse off than you. And usually you can do, no matter, no matter how small it is, um, you can do something to help somebody somewhere. You just have to open your eyes and just look around you. It helps me deal with my problems. It helps me put my problems into perspective. And it's, it's a very enabling, it's a very it's a very empowering experience because then I get that motivation. So done. Um, I've also completed a Tough Mudder challenge, um, the full course, um, and we raised something like nearly three thousand pounds for a mental health um, charity. Just earlier this summer, I did my first skydive from fifteen thousand feet or WWF. It was a sponsored skydive and we raised, um, I think we're still raising money. We haven't closed the Just Giving page for that yet. Rhinos are seriously in danger of becoming extinct. They're one of those animals that um, I absolutely love and I would love to see in, in their natural habitat. You can see the video for the skydive. It's uh, I've put my own little orchy spin to it. So um, do check that out. Yeah, you.